No trophy in the Queen City, but Marty Fish becomes the king of the Olympus U.S. Open Series. Let's take you to Cincinnati and the Western and Southern Open, an ATP World Tour Masters 1000 event. This year, the newly revamped Linder Family Tennis Center hosts a combined men's and women's event for the first time. It's a steamy semifinal Saturday as Fish takes to the court still basking in the glow of his quarterfinal victory over U.S. Open champion Rafael Nadal. He's going for his fourth straight win over world number four Andy Murray, but the Scotsman has other ideas. He nails five aces and saves all three break points to easily win the first set. Fish is plagued by 33 unforced errors in the match, but he makes the second set a fight to the finish, nailing five aces and pushing through the heat to a tiebreak. After overcoming a set point, Murray says this heat is too much, let's go home. And he collects his 300th career victory, 6-3, 7-6, in two hours, 18 minutes. And he gets a shot at his second title in Cincinnati, while Fish walks away with plenty of momentum in his suitcase. The win over Nadal, and in the match before that, clinching the 2011 men's title in the Olympus U.S. Open Series. He'll be the top-ranked American heading into the U.S. Open. The other semifinal pits world number one, Novak Djokovic, against Tomas Berdic. After Novak rallies from a 3-5 deficit to win the first set 7-5, Berdic is forced to retire with a right shoulder injury. It spares Djokovic from a long day in the heat as he goes in search of his 10th title of the season in the final against Murray. It's been a historic season for Novak Djokovic, who enters the final with a 57-1 record. The Serbian holds a 6-3 career record versus Andy Murray, including two wins already this year. But even with the short semifinal and a tough three-set quarterfinal versus Gael Monfils leaves Djokovic weary. Murray, the classic counterpuncher, knows exactly how to handle the situation. The Scot asserts control, breaking in the opening game. Djokovic struggles to find the form that has established his dominance this season, and Murray won't relent. Despite giving his break lead back to make it 3-all, Murray dazzles with his all-court play, winning three of the next four games, taking the set 6-4. Things continue to be one-sided in the second. A pair of early breaks puts Murray up 3-love. Djokovic senses the grind is all too much, and he retires due to an injured shoulder for just his second loss in 2011. Just like that, it's over, and Andy Murray collects his second title of the year. It's his seventh career Masters 1000 trophy, and it matches his best result at the Western and Southern Open, where he defeated Djokovic back in 2008 to win the title. Even with one more event left to play, the current standings in the men's bonus challenge finds Marty Fish clinching the 2011 Olympus US Open Series title. Novak Djokovic holds down the second position, with Andy Murray just slipping past Gael Monfils to finish third. All three have the potential to earn additional prize money at the 2011 U.S. Open. Mahesh Bhupati and Leander Pays took the doubles crown in two exciting tiebreak sets, ending the run of Michael Lodra and Ned Zimenez, who had won their last two events in Washington, D.C. and Montreal. For Bhupati and Pays, it's their third title of the year and their 26th title together. Next for the men, the final tune-up for the U.S. Open in a brand new setting, the Winston-Salem Open at Wake Forest University. You can watch the action on Tennis Channel, ESPN2, and CBS. Check the TV schedule page right here on OlympusUSOpenSeries.com for days and times. You can also watch online at TennisTV.com and ESPN3.com. Sign up for Follow Me to the U.S. Open at www.followmetotheusopen.org. Like, tweet, share, and watch tennis all summer long for your chance to win a trip to the 2012 U.S. Open and play in Arthur Ashe Stadium. I'm Kevin Skinner. Thank you for watching highlights of the 2011 Olympus U.S. Open Series.